Oh my, holy Jesus, what the hell is this place? What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description, so guys, welcome, welcome back, and happy freaking hump day you know it it's wednesday couple more days and we'll be at friday so anyways guys let's get right back into this shall we so in the last episode we ended off right over here by the guarded shrine guarded no longer by the damn op dragons and jesus criminy they were super overpowered but at the top of this mountain i believe we're going to find the mead keg for some of Valkus's men so that's what we're going to go and start off today doing. And then we got to go and talk to Valkus. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone, you know? And Valkus is right down there. So we can just jump off the mountain and jump into the water. And I will take that. But okie dokie, let's just keep on climbing. Hopefully there's nothing at the top of here like an enemy-wise. No, there is not. But there are two blades. Oh my god. Look at those weapons. Look at the damage values. Hang on. Mother Trucker, what? Caster's Edge. Frickin' 435 damage. And then, what was the other one? Pollock's Fang. Absorbed 25 points of health. You have got to be freaking kidding me. Well, we're gonna go ahead and drop my Ebony War Axe. We don't need that thing anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. We'll drop that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, equip that. And we'll go ahead and equip that. Oh my goodness gracious, we'll go ahead and, uh, do we need the ebony bow anymore? We don't need that, we can just use this one? Holy freaking Jesus, dude. Okay, well, good stuff, we got a major upgrade. Now, where the hell were these weapons when I needed them against the damn dragons? Hmm, and there's the keg of mead, wonderful. Bring the keg to Gregor and the crew. All right, now, can we make the jump? I think we can make the jump from here without hitting anything. All right, let's see. Toronto! Oh, I'm gonna hit the ground. <laughs> oh my freaking god. Well, that was a big ass fail. Now we gotta climb up that damn mountain again because I forgot to save when I got it. Oh, whoa! Uh, did you just see that? <laughs> what the hell was just falling out of the sky, dragons? Okay, this place just keeps getting better and better. Freaking dragons falling out of the sky, freaking gigantic mead kegs on top of mountains, weapons that do a thousand damage combined. Oh, goodness gracious, the plot is continuing to thicken. Pretty viscousy now. All right, now let's do a take two, and let's actually jump this time instead of just clumsily falling off of the freaking <laughs> platform right here. All right, let's grab the weapons again. Hopefully they're still there. You never know. You never know. Maybe it was a one-time thing, yay. All right, let's go ahead and come on up here. There they are. Look at them just chilling there. Now we got to drop the other weapons as well. But, quick save. Now we'll go ahead and drop this other stuff. All right, so I'll meet you at Gregor and the crew. All right, you guys. So we are down here in the common house. And if I remember correctly, this is Gregor. Hello there, good sir. I got your keg of mead right here. I found it. Bottoms up, my friend. Bottoms up. This won't be so gloomy around here now. I agree. The battle against sobriety continues. Thank you kindly. Here's a little something for your trouble. Oh, it was nothing. Just had to kill four dragons. Dream Shroud Amulet. Hmm, what do we got right here? Okay, that is very tiny text, even on this screen. Alteration spells cost 25% less to cast. So do Conjuration, Destruction, Restoration, and Illusion. Magicka regenerates 125% faster. Holy hell, dude. That's pretty freaking good. Too bad I don't use magic. But okie dokie, now we need to go back and see Valkus. Let's see, Stranded and Hunted, that's the one we need. And this is the, that's the main overarching quest. And it looks like Valkus is over at the boat. Alrighty, here we go. Hello there, Captain Valkus. Your nightmares have been vanquished. Marvelous, my friend, you've saved us. I cannot thank you enough. That's okay. My crew and I will try to get that ship working post haste. You're welcome to take whatever you need from our supplies. Oh, thank you, sir. There does appear to be a way to reach that central island. 
but it seems the way is blocked. Indeed, by a force field. I have a feeling Lord Kano would know more. You might want to ask him about it. That sounds like an elvish name. Thank you again, Savior. We shall spread your heroic deeds from tavern to dry dock across Tamriel. Farewell. The songs of Phoenix will be sang through the hollows of 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 the of, of 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 quick. Think on your feet, Ryan. Think on your feet. Of somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, so we need to see if we can't talk to Lorcano. Now, where the hell is Lorcano? Are you Lorcano? You're you Donal. Been, eh? Okay, that's fine. Dead. I'm not dead, and I told you the next time you said that, I would kill you. So, goodbye. Oh, you can't die. Wonderful. <laughs> Holy shit, these things are fast. What the hell? Why am I so fast? Oh my god! I was swinging those things like a mile a minute. You get Where off you with been? a warning this time, Donald. Frickin' hell. Alright, so we need to find Lorcano. He might be one of the guys that we talked to along the way. Let's see, you're Jore. Are you Lorcano? You're Camro. Can I talk to you though? They must be a source of incredible power. I agree. All right, let's see. I don't know what the big one can do. I guess that's what we're gonna find out. Your name is Marin, Nicholas, and Algron. Such interesting and colorful names. Lorcano. I'm I'm kind of bad that I can still hear that guy behind me. He's <laughs> just talking away, talking to himself. You're Feraldin. Have we met Lorcano? I feel like we met Lorcano. There's so many guys just chilling around here. Let's see. Let's continue to look for Lorcano. Who knows? He might just be chilling somewhere. We can go and check out the marketplace again as well. That's Malin Husk. Let's see. Do you have this anything? Got to be the business no, it is not. Uh, I'm trying to remember where... I feel like we saw him. Okay, so I tell you what, let me do a little bit of looking around, see if I can't find where this dude is at. And then, if we can't find him, we're gonna head up to that one spot we found in the last episode. I think it was called, like, the Palace of Kings? What's it called? Hall of Kings! I knew it was something of kings. So let me see if I can find this guy. Oh, wait a second, look at this! Oh my god, look at that! That is a painting! Holy shit, dude! Nope, there's the thumbnail picture. <laughs> Oh my freaking god. Okay, let me let me get that on just like that. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous, dude. The freaking Aurora Borealis dancing behind it with the torches lit on top of the statues and the uh, the pillars, dude. Dang it, that looks good. Oh god, I love this game so freaking much, dude. Okie dokie. So let me see if I can look around, see if I can't find this Lorcano fellow. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I did not find Lorcano at the moment, but... I did find this door. We found it in the last episode, and there was one door down there. Let's see if I can find where it was at. It had a bunch of roots around it or something like that. Let's see. Uh, where is... I just saw it, dude. It's right there. So we walked by that door in the last episode, but this door leads to somewhere inside the Sundered Core as well. So let's check this out. Oh my... Holy Jesus, what the hell is this place? Oh. oh, okay. Um, I feel like I'm in a level with, like, Mario or something like that. Like, Bowser's just gonna be sitting up there. Wait a second, Dr Dream Journal Entry 37. I don't think we're supposed to be in here just yet. Oh, there's somebody down there. Oh, there is most certainly somebody down there. Is that a bad person? I feel like that would be a bad person. I feel like we're not supposed to be in here yet, guys. Uh, because we just went from... Dream Journal Entry 10, 9, to 37. I don't think we're supposed to be in here just yet. Okay, so we're gonna go and scratch that idea. We're not gonna go in there just yet. Ow. Oh, I died. That's fun. Oh, no, I did not die. That's even better. I think I broke my legs. That's what happened. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting I have the damn, uh, what is it? The Wildcat? Uh, uh, Wildcat Combat Mod installed. So now a bunch of different things will... I guess, go towards my health and stuff like that. So if you fall too high, you'll break your damn leg. If you get shot in the spine, you're gonna have paralysis for like a long time. It is pretty cool though. I like how much 
how much difference it adds and stuff like that. But okay, let's go to let's go ahead and teleport to the Hall of the Kings or Hall of Kings. We might not be able to go in here either, but we're gonna need to find Lorcano regardless. I just figured looking in that sundered core wouldn't have been too much of a bad step, but clearly it was. Now let's see, is this door even unlocked? I don't remember if it is or not. Hall of Kings. Okay, that's a lot of water. A little loud. Appreciate you. I'm gonna go ahead and sneak a little bit. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay! Oh, hi, Alduin. How you doing there, big guy? Nice to see you. Enjoying your vacation, I hope. Okay. Sleep in the strange bed. I have a strange feeling that if I sleep in that bed, we're not coming back. Let's see, what goes back through here? Oh, this place is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my god, the decor on this in this place is beautiful. Alright, let's see. Let's do a little bit of looking around. I don't think Lorcano is in here. That leads to the Sundered Core. I have a strange feeling we're supposed to not be in here. Not supposed to be in here yet. Oh, hello. What do we got? Dream board... Okay. Dreamborn Teleport Spell Tome. Interesting. Okay. Transport you to the dream world. Mother Trucker, what? <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. I have a strange feeling, like I said, that if we sleep in that bed, that it's not going to be a good thing. Where does this go? That goes to Terravina. This looks like a jumping puzzle. Dude, this looks like something straight out of Harry Potter with, like, the floating lanterns and stuff. That looks super cool. Super cool. Okay. I guess we're gonna go to sleep in that strange bed. Wake up. Oh, wait a second. Uh, sure? Okay. I gotcha. And this goes back out to Skyrim. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha, okay, so that is the way to get back to, uh, I guess, that's the way to get back to Skyrim without being at the, at this bed. Now, sh this should teleport us back to that same spot, right? Oh, check that out, dude. Uh, let's go to Terravina Docks. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. We need to find Lorcano, but nothing came up with it that said we need to find Lorcano. So, wait a second. I can't even talk to him. Okay, so Lorcano has to be around here somewhere. So, I'm gonna do some looking around, see if I can't find him. And if I do, I'll come back in. We lost about okay, so no Lorcano yet, but I decided to take another crack at the, the business district, the Solarin Marketplace. And it turns out that each door is its own portal to a different door in the Marketplace. So if you guys remember, back in the episode where we found the marketplace itself, one of the, the one of the notes said that it was doors, 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 all over the place. And each one of these doors leads to somewhere different inside of the marketplace, and I've noticed that. I've gone through about five or six of the doors, and as you can see, you pop out in different spots. So the first time we came through here, we came out like over, we came out, uh, we came out, oh, the boy, we came out over by the floating boat. But now, now we're over here, I don't know where here is, but that one was a cliff, obviously. You could jump off of it and jump onto this little platform right here, but I'm just trying to find the, I guess, the correct combination of doors to go through to get to somewhere, I don't know where it leads, you know? It might lead to the top of the mountain, where those floating platforms were, the ones that you could see outside. That might be where it leads, but one of these doors, I found Dream Journal number 11. I didn't read it yet, but we haven't found 10 yet, so we must be missing something, and it's gotta be within this area. So it might be worth it to look around inside of here and try and... F un Try and find the correct door combination, you know? Hopefully that doesn't kill me! Oh, nailed it, I'm amazing. Now let's see. Am I gonna be able to get back up there, hopefully? Oh yeah, I'll be fine, okay. So let's see, I think we were over here at one point. Okay, there's a doorway right there. I think that might be where we first came in at. 
when we came into the marketplace, because it looks fairly familiar. And yeah, I think this is the exact spot we did. So where does this door lead? So this one leads to kind of the first floor leveled door. Legend has it. Now let's go up to this one right here and see where this leads. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so see? Okay, we went here though too. I remember that. But I don't think we came up here. I can't remember. Let's see. Where does this one lead? Okay, so I'm up much higher this time. Okay, here's Dream Journal uh, uh, Entry 11. Let's go ahead and read it. Life here is beautiful. Mornings are filled with the scent of fresh exotic plant life radiating in unnaturally vivid color. Silhouetted against the morning sun, a majestic flock of graceful Solara. Ever since the core has been stabilized, peace has, peace has reigned over the land. But who knows when those invaders will break free from their chains again. Invaders, huh? Interesting. Okay. Now let's see. What does it say in this one? I'm at an impasse. I see visions of Grant. Oh, wait, no, let's see. That's in the ancient record. So the ancient record, why do we have two Dreamer Journal Entry 9s? Let's see. Doors, doors, doors everywhere, and a path to the skies. This must be where the Solara barter and trade with other civilizations. I wonder what else lies deep within these caves. So we need to keep going through certain doors, or separate doors, trying to find our way through to, I guess, the main, the main door? Does more go down here? There's more do Okay, we, we were just down there. And then this one is the cliff that we just jumped off, I think. But it looks like it goes up even further now. Wait, weren't we just here? I'm pretty sure we were just at this one. God, it's so confusing having all of these freaking winding pathways and all of this. Okay, what goes over there? That looks very different. That might be where we need to go. Let's see, can I jump up on top of this and then go this way? Alright, let's see where this goes. Because I think we've been on this pathway before. Yeah, this is the one that we were just on. This one leads to the opening of the, the archive, but we can't go through there without a key. Yeah, sealed portal requires key. Maybe if I smack it. Can I smack it? I can't smack it. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit more looking around. Maybe I'll have to do a little bit of research and try and find our way through. Um, but, but yeah. Okay, so I must be blind because I didn't even see this dude. Oh my god, you're joking me, right? I, I probably passed by this guy like six times. Hello there. Lorcano, I presume. Ah, hello, my friend. Hello. Good to see you. I'm glad you weren't harmed in the attack. I died four times. I really enjoyed our talks aboard the Sandra. You have such a rich history. Please allow me to write about it someday. That's fine. I don't know you, though. Ah, uh, yes, that would be exquisite. Uh -huh. It would be a true honor. Captain Valkis mentioned something about flying people? In my studies, I have come across scripts and petroglyphs that hint at a lost island, not unlike where we are now. Okay. I believe we have found Terrafina. This is said to be an island of legend, where once there lived an ancient sky people. Okay, then. These birdmen called themselves the Salari. At least that's what I've been able to translate. This is unfortunately <laughs> the extent of my findings. Okay. Fascinating. Any way I could help out? This island holds many secrets, just waiting to be uncovered. To further understand this people's story, I require something that will allow me to translate these inscriptions. Makes sense. One last faint detail from my research hinted at such an object called the Ancient Record, an epitaph containing the keys to this language. I can see how that would be helpful. I predict it is hidden away in a place called the Lost Archive. Oh, I've seen that. Can you help me find it? I can try, but the door's lock. locked. Lock? Good one, Ryan. Yes, let's go exploring. Ah, much obliged. Now, the ancient record will most likely be found in a place out of reach. But I'm sure you'll be able to find a path to it. 
If you feel you're getting lost, try a new avenue or perspective. Oh, I found this key when we first washed up here. It may open something important. Uh-huh. You should take it. Sweet. Safe travels, friend. Thank you, Lorcano. Key to the Lost. Oh, shoot, dude. Yep. Oh, I can pretty much guarantee it. The, the key he just gave me, once we go into the Solaran Marketplace, I think I remember the exact door that we need to go into to get onto the uh, the pathway to get up to that that locked door that goes to the Lost Archives. So, let's see. We need to locate where it's at first. If I remember correctly, let's see, it's somewhere, yeah, okay, so what's cool about the dialogue that he just said, he said, if you get lost, try a new avenue or a new perspective, that's why there's so many freaking doors, it's to throw you off the path and the scent of the, um, the lost archive and stuff like that, but it's somewhere over here, it's over by the boat. If I remember correctly, it was one of the more, it was one of the, now, <laughs> right there, <laughs> Told you I remembered where it was. Okay, now let's see. Please tell me this is gonna open it. I'm 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 tingling. Come on. Yes, son of a bitch, we got it. Oh whoa. Oh whoa, dude, this is cool looking. Look at this. Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this looks like something straight out of like the Witcher or something. Oh my god. This, the music is swelling, dude. The music is swelling. Gosh dang. I wish I could go in and explore all of these buildings, dude. I wish they all had, like, a, a rich kind of population, you know? I think that would be super cool. But that would be quite intensive. That's for... Oh my god. I'll take all of that. Thank you. I'm gonna be weighed down just with freaking potions. Oh my god. I might have to swap my picture for the thumbnail. Alright, so we have a compass marker. Where is it taking us? Right into the center of this, this little circle right there. I assume we just have to kind of follow the pathway. I'm thinking I was correct, because it's coming around. Oh man, the music's getting real intense now. Okay, maybe we need to go up. Or not. Okay, we just went in a circle. Oh, it's up there. Oh, it's up there. Yep, I can guarantee it's up there. Okay, so we need to find our way up there via these bridges and stuff like that. So most likely, that's where we were before. That's the entrance right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I wonder if we're supposed to unlock that gate too. Hang on, let's see. I wonder if we're supposed to unlock that. That way we don't have to go through the marketplace. Doesn't look like you can- what the hell? It doesn't look like you can, but okie dokie. Let's go ahead and come back up here. Okay, I need you to find the little cliff, Ryan. Come on, buddy. Uh, am I stuck in the water? I think I'm stuck in the water, guys. Oh, wait, no, there, there we go. Okay, uh, there's a doorway right here. What do we got? Where does this lead? Solaran Marketplace. Okay, so there's a door that goes through here to the Solaran Marketplace. Is this where we just came from? I feel like it is. Okay, so note to self, don't go through that door. <laughs> I don't know if it was a conflict with my load order or what, but I got a completely black screen. The game was loaded in, but it was a completely black screen, so I'm hoping that does not happen again. This goes into the Lost Archive. Uh-oh, what do we got? Let's see, what goes through- okay, hi. What do we got? Greaves of the Forgotten. What is in the satchel? I'll take all of that. And I'll take those, please. Goodness gracious. Come on, violins. Chalk it down a little bit, guys. I know you're excited, but damn, you and the cellos. Freaking hell. All right, let's go ahead and back through here. All right, so guys, I think I'm going to have to leave it on a cliffhanger for today because unfortunately we are all... Hello. We are all out of time for today's episode, but we finally found the Lost Archive. We're going to be able to find the epitaph for Lorcano to start translating, and I'm super excited because I feel like we're going to get the ability to fly. <laughs> I'm not sure, though, but let's see. That armor, I have a feeling that's going to be very important here in a little while. Increases stamina, bows do 35% more damage, very nice. We'll keep the armor. We might not wear it right now, but I'm assuming there's going to be a full set of it around here somewhere. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. 
and subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.